been a very long couple of months that you guys haven't seen a video from me but it's been a rough two months but i am back and i'm well and i am ready to post again so because we're around the holiday season i decided i'm gonna just go ahead and bring you a few of the traditional Guyanese staples that we typically have in our home around the christmas season so i'm gonna try to post a video um every day or every other day of tr traditional Guyanese recipes so today we're starting off with garlic pork this is very simple yet delicious and is found in almost every Guyanese household as long as you um you eat pork so for today's recipe i'm using about four pounds of pork shoulder garlic some vinegar white vinegar I'm also going to be using some scotch bonnet pepper because I don't have the rear rear pepper, some thyme, about a half a tablespoon of sugar, about two tablespoons of salt, and you do need a jar in order to um, put the pork in. So I'm going to have my little sister help me out here. So we're going to just go ahead and cut our pork into smaller cubes. I've already cut it up. And then you want to just go ahead and wash your pork very clean. I'm going to be using lemon and vinegar. So very quickly just go ahead and wash your pork. Give it a few rinse. Um, because once your pork is washed out, you do want to go ahead and just pat them dry. So once you have washed all the pork, guys, just go ahead and put it in between paper towels and as you can see she's using a, a thong in order to do this because after you wash your pork do not touch it with your hand again you just want to go ahead and pickle your pork but you don't want to keep touching it you know with your hand that's how I learned it so that's how I typically do it so once this is done guys just go ahead and pat it dry and then what you want to do is just go ahead and put that into the bottle don't come for her nails guys Please don't come for her nails. But just go ahead and put the pork into the box. Just put the pork into the jar piece by piece. And then we are going to go ahead and get started on the um, blended mixture. And you can make this as spicy as you want to. I'm using four scotch bonnet. If I had a burger, I would have used probably a few of those too. Because I like my thing muy caliente. Like very, very hot. So just go ahead and add about three cups of vinegar to your blender for this recipe I'm gonna be using about five cups of vinegar and about two cup of water because the jar is huge guys so depending on how um, how much you're gonna be making just go ahead and adjust it today's recipe I'm giving you about four pounds of pork shoulder so it's it's a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and add my thyme scotch bonnet along with my garlic salt and sugar you want to just go ahead and add everything into your blender and give it a quick pulse or blend. You don't want this to be super thin as though it's a smoothie. You still do want it to have a very thick consistency um, like a paste. So I've done that. So I'm going to go ahead and just started building my tower of pork. So I'm going to go ahead and I've already placed some pork to the bottom. I added some of the mixture and then I'll just keep building basically layers of it. So that's well, it's well incorporated. As you can see, my mixture is still a bit thick. You can see the thyme, you can see the garlic, you can see the pepper. And then you just want to go ahead and pack it in your bottle. So here is a close up of what it looks like. So you see layers and layers of pork and seasoning ratio so once you have this done guys what you want to do is go ahead and put a clean wrap to the top of it um, I've always done it this way you don't have to but I just like to seal in um, everything and make sure it's nice and you know covered or whatever um, and just set this aside this is gonna be typically done about four days before Christmas guys so you just want to set this aside if you go into this make sure you go into this with a clean utensil but i thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate it and until next time Ooh.